Doc Rips back at it again. We're not about to get surgical, but we got part two of Selena's Killer um, that we're going to be checking out today. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Also, make sure you guys go and follow me on social media. Links will be typed up in the description box below where you guys can always feel free to DM me anything else that you would like to see. Or if you just want to chat, we can do that too. But without further ado, let's finish off this, this, this part two on obsession and violence actually hold on let me, let me double check something real quick uh, all right let's get into it <clears throat> though he never examined sal devar we ask him to take a look at our interview with her for any hints of obsessive homicidal behavior he says the strongest clue is that she brought a gun to the final meeting Mm -hmm. Why is there a loaded gun there when perhaps there's a job termination? And two, why does she put the gun to her head in order to end the relationship? Those two are strikingly abnormal and are usually absent in any kind of relationship ending. Dr. Malloy says Sal Devar appears to fit a pattern of an obsessive personality. We ask him about her claim that it was she who was ending the relationship instead of Selena. Delusional. I told her no. It was over. Now, Yolanda is now. It, I, I don't. I don't remember if I said this before in, in in the other video, but if she was supposedly the one that was ending the relationship, why would she supposedly put the gun to herself? Why wouldn't she just walk out? And why was she wanting to meet instead of just lies, man? Lies. Describing here the exact opposite of what Selena supposedly has lies. described. Yes, yeah, sometimes there's a reversal in these cases of roles. And what we may be seeing here is the person that's about to be abandoned in order to understand it or justify it in her own mind becomes the person in the position of doing the abandoning. So her version turns everything around. Exactly. The roles shift and the, and the roles alter and we have tragedy. He was particularly struck by Saldivar's answer to our next question. If you could go back and do something differently on that morning of March 31st. I don't think we got this before. I would want her to kill me. Dr. Malloy says that's an indication that um, Saldivar expected one of them to one die one that day. Instead of her saying, I wish we were both safe and nothing had happened, instead she has to direct the aggression toward herself rather than Selena. So you think that it appears that she was considering suicide here? I think so. I think so. That's why these situations are extremely dangerous and unpredictable. Because that homicidal impulse is shifting rapidly between the wish to kill the self and the wish to kill the other. And there were just seconds there to determine who was going to die. Perhaps even less than that. The Throughout our interview, Sal Devar kept referring to a mysterious deep secret that she shares with Selena. She says they even talked about it on the day of the murder. You talked about a secret, that you're protecting a secret. That's true. What secret? I can't indulge that at this point. Because it's, because my case is an appeal. But I know that one day, People will know. Let's stop it there. Yeah, I don't know if there's a secret, but I do know that by her saying she has a secret, she maintains a special, exclusive relationship with Selena that nobody else has. Even now? Mm. Even now. Hmm. Obsessive behavior. So she tries to hold on to some type of secret. So she still kind of has the... Re you know... I was thinking about this the other day, and um, it's it's it it's really really sad when, you know, obviously I didn't know who Selena was back then, but I you know now I'm discovering you know the greatness um, that Selena was, and you know it's 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 really really sad when all of us have to suffer because of the actions of one individual person. You know you can you can. You can go throughout history, you know, and, 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 you know, think, think about, you know, certain instances where just because one individual couldn't control themselves, the rest of us don't get to 
enjoy this person's or this individual's presence on this earth anymore. Just one. You know, and, and it sucks. You know, it's 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 not fair, you know, in, in a sense. It, it really, obviously, we, we understand that's part of life. Well, it shouldn't be a part of life, but it is a part of life. But, like, if you boil it down, it really isn't fair. You know what I mean? Just Just one person can make the decision for all of us that we no longer get to enjoy that. We no longer get to have that 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 soul, that spirit, that presence on this earth. Just one person. You know? Like I was just sitting thinking about that, you know, the other day and it was just like, man. I just wish there was a way that that wouldn't be the case, you know? <clears throat> Yolanda, whether it was accidental or whether it was intentional, you were responsible for Selena's death. How do you live with that? It was an accident. I'm dead inside. I have no feelings. I'm like a walking shell. Selena will always be a daughter for me. She will always be that gentle child I never had. And I thank her for it. There's a link to Selena now that nobody can uh, uh, devalue nor uh, remove. You know, through one act, she has now established a notoriety that will remain, and her name will be linked to Selena's memory. And that, for her, in a sense, reestablishes that uh, special fantasy. Deborah, Yolanda Saldivar is in prison for 30 years without parole, right? Right. But she said that, that, that she wants her case to uh, come up for appeal. Is that going to happen? Well, her lawyers are trying for an appeal. They're also trying for a new trial. They have a hearing scheduled this month at which they'll argue that parts of the trial were handled improperly. And they'll also argue that police ignored her comments that the shooting was an accident and that they deliberately left it out of her confession. But they're arguing this before the same judge who heard the trial. Mm -hmm. So many are skeptical about whether it will work. Selena was only 23 and on the verge of becoming a megastar. And the thing that's so heartbreaking for her father is that he will never know how well she could have done. Mm -hmm. Ironically, her last album that she recorded before her death sold three million copies. And now she's a legend. She is. Tragic. All, all around tragic. Thank you, Deborah. Absolutely tragic. 23 years old, gone in the blink of an eye. You know, going to what she thought was just to wrap up some loose ends and wipe her hands clean. Ended up losing her life because of it, you know. It, <clears throat> listen, it's crazy, man. That, that, that's just... That's, you know, you, you, you're almost, you're, you're almost at a loss for words when, when, you know, when you think about a situation like that, you know, um, obviously to, to lose any type of life, um, is not something that you want, but you know, when, when we talk about, you know, a, a person, the likes of Selena, who from what I've seen and what I've heard was, was, was just a wonderful spirit, you know? Um, not only beautiful on the outside, but more more importantly, just beautiful on the inside as well. You know, just a wonderful individual, and on the verge, like they said, of 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 huge stardom. Just 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 right there, it was, it was within it was it was within grasp. Like it was to just it's sad, man. It's sad, you know. <sighs> Delusional. Absolutely delusional. Be safe out there, man. You, you, you never know. You never know. <sighs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Selena, man. Uh, we'll, we'll, of course, be jumping back into, you know, some of her music. Um, <clears throat> but I had to finish off this, this series. There was just there was just two parts to it. So it was, might as well finish it. Let's see what this, you know, uh, you know, this delusional individual has to say, you know. <sighs> 
such a sad, such a sad situation, man. But let me know what you guys thought about it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys, as always, leave a like before you go. Smack the subscribe button that's right over there, as you guys already know. And, of course, family, check out the video that's right over there, too. You might like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Doc Rich.